Dan's sweat mark right here. Dan's? Yeah. D A N apostrophe S Giesling? <laughs> you know, Dan's, like, it's not. D A N C E. Sick. One, two, three, I four, mean, not five. sick. It's not thick. I mean, it's not thin. It's thick. Dan's. Yeah, I remember when I watched it because I rented the. Back in the day when you could rent, I rented the uh, VHS. Not so long ago. Uh, here, why, why did you take off your ears? So I d didn't get the wires crossed. Do you want to? Do you want to know the spoiler of possible the third one? Because I'm pretty yes. sure it was the third one, I'll not the second one. I'll definitely never see it. So. All right. So if anyone wants to see the butterfly effect three, get out. You already <laughs> had the best before date, because that was like. When did that movie come out? The Butterfly Effect 3? Yeah. I got no idea, girl. Butterfly Effect 1 was 04, so... Probably then, uh, at least like six years ago, I would say. Yeah, that's probably fair. So, you you had your time, alright? So if you if you don't want to get spoiled, then give us a 10 minute. So, in the, in the end, I know that... So it was the dude who had the power, right? Nice. What do, what do you mean, nice? <laughs> <laughs> it's, go, go our conversation didn't even go well go from the start. So it was the dude who had the power that was turning back the time, and then like um, he he was like, I I cannot save like what's going on. Like I, it's just I cannot get the situation better. And it was actually uh, his sister. Oh. She also born with the power. Oh snap! So like, you know, if he changed something, then she would be like, "Oh, he changed something." So she would go back and change something, and then just like kept doing that. Yeah. And then, um, I think there was like, I don't know if I remember correctly, but when they were kids, uh, he saved his sister because he didn't want her to die. But at the end, he goes back and lets her die exactly because she's she's going too insane from the power exactly hell yeah but then um i think it ends like off like it ends with like some garbage shit like that, she went back in time yeah. and stopped him from stopping him yeah from and, oh so it was dumb <laughs> yeah. wow. i don't know if i remember correctly but that's what i remember it's just like it's he wanted to save his sister um, because, like, she, like, she, you know, like the house was burning and he felt guilty about something. And then, um, but I think, like, despite he saved her from from that tragic, she kept like getting killed yeah. by someone. And then he's like, "Why? Why does she keep getting killed? Like, I want to save my sister." And then it was actually like her killing herself, oh. or something. Oh. And then like, um, and then he's like, "Oh, like I, I think who's doing like I think the person who's doing all this harm is my sister actually. So I need to actually let the house burn down, and then have my sister get killed. And like he's in like in like pain because he can like hear like she's screaming like." Tommy, save me! Open the door! Tommy! It hurts! It hurts! And he's just like, no! And then, like, the adult of the sisters there. It was just like. I don't know, it was so wow. stupid. It was so stupid. Great movie. Chad is like, how did, you, how did you predict the twist? It's the butter. All they do in the movie is go back in time to prevent stuff. Obviously, the twist is likely to be going back in time to prevent it. And then the villain going back in time to prevent the going back in time to prevent it. I might be like super wrong though, because I remember movies like I, when I remember plots of movies, it's always wrong. That's very true. So just take it or leave it, you know. I might be super wrong, and then there will be comments on YouTube probably saying like, "What is this kid high? It's like that's not even the plot." They just went to grocery shopping for a whole time. Here, hold on for a second. After this room. Because okay. you have like a starry, starry night. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, ah, whatever. Just I can just get rid of it in one click, so. Alright. Oh, I 
can't go for it. Alrighty then. See? Easy. Nice, thank you. Is it like you have to put the green screen on the white guy for me? No. And then when you go back on, you're like, alright. Back to my default settings. I'll be surprised if a lot of people have... So, like, they're... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. there are two, two movies that are kind of, like, intertwined with the plot when I'm thinking about the Butterfly Effect mm. 3. So I want to know if actually someone watched it oh, in the wait. chat. Someone in chat said, I just looked at the ending on Wikipedia. That's the actual ending. Oh. There you go. One out of 10k will get something right. <laughs> That's, that's, this is it. This is it! What? I feel so happy. I feel like I can actually... That's like the... Today has been a terrible day for me. But not because, like, things happen. It's because, you know, it's the latest day. So, the, yeah, the, your Day of the month. Um, so, I basically didn't get to do anything. All I can do was just drink tea and lay down and like sleep like a cat for like 12 hours. Um, but today, like, uh, that was the best feeling I ever got. Getting the ending of the Butterfly Effect 3 right! <laughs> that I watched a long time ago! My day's been pretty good. I recorded like a lot of XCOM. Yeah, I'm jealous. I wanted to do all this productive stuff as well, but I just couldn't do it. it. Just feels like it's so hard to explain. But last night I was in so much pain that I woke up at seven, and I'm just like I can't do anything. And then so I had to take like a mid roll. I think that's what it's called, right? My doll. My doll. <laughs> <laughs> mid roll is the. I said mid roll, mid like midterm, mid yeah, mid roll. Yeah, mid, mid roll. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I had to take that, and then I I thought to myself because the pain was just, it's just like unreasonable, you know? It's not like a stomach ache. It's just the pain is quite strong. It's not like so strong that you cannot handle it. It's just strong enough that it will ruin your day and you cannot do anything but lie down with like heated blanket and drinking like hot tea. I was thinking like, man, you know, back in those days when human, you know, like we weren't even able to communicate with each other. How did females survive that? Like how did human as like a species continued so long. You mean because like how would a caveman wife tell her caveman husband to go to McDonald's to get some chicken nuggets? No, it's just like, you know, when female they're like 15, 16, whatever, and then they, they start shitting up blood. I, like I cannot believe, um, you know, the, the our our pest self where it's like she's a witch, kill her. No, I mean, you, like, you knew what was going on. Yeah, first off, they were pregnant all the time. You cannot literally be pregnant all the time. Well, there would have been at least a month and at least one lady that was not pregnant and was shitting blood. Right? No, they just say, like, you know, oh, it's, you know, she's having womanly issues. Yeah, but then, like, well, I don't understand. It's like, would the males come for her, or would the males they're kind of out, like, they're out. witch, god, yeah, monster, they, they think ev she's every, dying. Every woman is a witch. <laughs> no, of course they know, like, you know, that's like saying, you know, what did, what did they do if they didn't eat for two hours, they got hungry. And they're like, what is this strange feeling, you know? They're aware of their biological I'm sure it, functions. It, they actually had that moment. I don't think so. Bro. No, you don't think eh, so? No. I mean, we I did... actually want to know. If I have a time machine, that's the first thing I want to know. How we... did they deal with... I mean, we, we, we were animals earlier in our evolutionary history, right? It's not like we just popped out as, like, this uh, blank hard drive being like, what's this feeling? I mean, like, babies, I guess, are like that to a small extent, but... I don't know. I think you got, uh, you got a strange view of human history to some extent. And, like, you know... They didn't have electric, uh, heated blanket. That is true. How did they, first of all, deal with the pain? And they didn't have painkiller, right? And then, like... 
I bet they're just like lying on the ground. Dirt and shit. And uh, shitting blood. No, you know what they were doing? They were freaking working their crops so that their feudal lord didn't kick the shit out of them. Even before, you know, farming. Even before farming. Oh, I see. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Should we do it? Should we do it? <laughs> no. Even before farming, Ryan. Mm, I don't like, know. Well, that's like, that's prehistory, so I can't say, I guess, but... I want to know. How did female during that era or time survived? Did they, like, put leaves in it? Invested? Probably, yeah. Oh my god. Because if they were hunting, right? And then yeah. just, like... And then just blood, like they, the animals will smell the blood. So the, I bet, I bet the, the male hunters are just like, oh, you we go said, home. We said no chicks. <laughs> uh, we said no chicks. You said she was cool, man. <laughs> I need to know. Great song. Oh my god. Hold on. Yeah. A proper gentleman. What was slash you slash? Is that means that it's on Reddit. Ah. It's not a lot, but I hope you enjoy your deserved vacation. You both are integrated into my daily schedule and have helped me through a lot of rough times by providing company. See you on the sub. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Raise your cape blender to slash you slash a proper a proper gentleman. A proper gentleman under scroll. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. What sub are you talking about? If I was not Going away for a Japan trip, I would have probably cancel this stream. But, you know, I've, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I agree with that. Uh, there's, been, there's been a few times this week where I'm like, man, I really don't want to record like 11 videos right now. And then there was your wife dying. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I have it harder. I'm just saying, you know, because the vacation's coming up very soon. Um, you gotta be like, well, tough, tough it out, basically. Yeah. And then make up for it with gusto in, uh, in Japan. Mm-hmm, with Maid Cafe, if we ever get to 300 sub! What? This guy. What, the, you like my secret room in Two Spirit Arts? <laughs> yeah! Very much so! That's just how life is when you, uh, when you play with me. What food are you most excited for in Japan? Um, I think Okonomiyaki because definitely this time we are going to go to legit Osaka Okonomiyaki place in uh, Tombori. is also uh, not readily available in Vancouver. There's probably there's some places that definitely have it, but it's not like oh let's go here. It's a it's not Okonomiyaki OG. place. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, for me, I'm uh, I'm big into the takoyaki, and I gotta say, Vancouver's ramen game is strong. Yeah, there, man. There's some good ramen here, but there is some dope ramen in Japan. I'm ready for it as well. Quack, quack, quack. Johnny, Johnny whoops. whoops. Johnny Eleven months whoops. in a row. Okay, let me roll out. Thank you. If I sound like I'm dying, you're correct. That's how I feel. Oh, uh, hey, oh, almost got me. Oh my god. Oh, Nick is raiding me, Ryan. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. Papa bless. Give Lion a kiss. I thought you would talk a little You're talking about me? No. You're talking about Lion the Lion! Lion! That's it. Okay. Thank you. Get on me. Defend the fort. Hurrah. That's octopus balls, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not octopus testicles. It's a ball with octopus meat inside of it. And the ball is made out of, like, pancake or... Well, it's just like, when you describe batter. it as a ball, it sounds, like, really gross. Well, you know, it's it's like a popcorn octopus. It's it's basically, like, it's, uh, you have a pancake. And then within the pancake, there's a small slice of cooked octopus. 
and instead of flat pancake, it's just like made in the size of like a bite size ball shape. So that you can actually like walk around and eat it. And then it's got like uh, instead of like fork and knives. Like a, it's not really soy sauce, I guess, but it's well, got the, a, the base is soy sauce. It's got a soy sauce based syrup, I suppose, on top. And a not little, a syrup. Well, uh, it's, it's sauce. thick. It, yeah, but it's like it's sweet. And uh, a, a little more sticky. like savory, savory instead of like sugary. It's yeah, definitely it's, not sugary. It doesn't taste like uh, like a funnel cake. I'll give you that, but. I just got here from Nick's stream, and I want to say have a nice vacation Thank to you, you and Ryan. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. We'll uh, return safely. Almost certainly. Hopefully no Yakuza will drag us. Pretty unlikely. We'll, we'll uh, make sure to call a Japanese police. Fuck that, I'm calling Liam Neeson. I was thinking, like, I was basically... You know, when you're in pain, you just gotta think like people who go through the same thing, but in the worse in the worse place than you, so sure, that you make yeah. so you feel a little bit better about yourself. It's like whenever I do bad on a daily, I'm like, oh, it could be worse. It could be mad. Exactly. That's it's like it's like that little bit. So I was thinking like, man, like you know, I'm having a horrible day, but think about this during like 1200. How oh, would yeah. people deal with this shit, right? They messed up. I don't know how actually they would deal with that. I actually want to know. Do if I go to like a museum, would they have like a museum? <laughs> would they would they have like this is what they did when they had pain? Cause you know how like when you go to uh, like Renaissance era or something like that, it's like if someone had a cold, they stuck this huge nail in their brain, and then they'll have like a nail displayed. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm just yeah, giving yeah. like a crazy I understand. example. So I wonder if there was like, during woman's period, they stuck this in their vagina and then it's just like, I, I baseball. Bet, I bet there are museums with exhibits like that. But you know, you could just, when it, I have these questions all the time, <laughs> mo multiple times per day. You, what you do is you just go all the time. You go to Google on your phone. You yeah, type, but I'm, I have a weak heart. I cannot. Like, I don't... I want a adult supervision when I want to search that kind of Girl, stuff. Go, just go to Wikipedia. Yeah, but then, like, it might be too raw. You know, I need some filtered information here. Sukari, be your expert. Thank you for joining. Get on me, lead. Get on me, roll out. I'm worried Wikipedia is going to be too raw. Like, you know, like, raw information. Like, it's raw. truth. It's truth, but, you know, it's not filtered to, like, make it kind of, like, safe. I have a weak oh, heart, it man. Is, it is filtered to make it safe. No, man, they just tell you the straight out Ooh. truth. I gotta, I gotta have like a safe, safe environment. Flavored flav... Fors. What? Yes. Flavored flavors. I said, now I know why NL doesn't use a face cam on his stream. JK, LOL. You know what? JK to you, mister. Mm. <laughs> Better Love be you JK. guys. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Raise your cape, Blender. I wonder if they put like hot towels. Well, you know, I could look it up for you, but I'm worried it might be a little too raw. Yeah, man. Too raw. I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried the information might be filtered. too raw. You know, in the, in, the, in the museum, you know, the informations are kind of like, it's it's correct, but they don't tell you the 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 scary part, because like they're children's. At, at adult museums, they'll tell you the scary part. What do you? What if you're taking like a six-year-old kid to a museum like this? What are they gonna be like? You no, know, six-year-old kid is asking what happens when your lady gets her period in the 1200s. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Is people talking over themselves here yeah uh so there's nl's dad subscribe thank I you very much one. raise your kate army and ten dollar from jacko05 said thanks for doing what you do it makes my time between university much more entertaining appreciate that. nl's professional commentary is the best around thanks for all the content kate jack from down unda Unda? That's uh, Australia. Oh, I and thought it was a city in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Unda. 
Anything I can do to ease the pursuit Rage of knowledge. Major Kate Harvey Blender. I, uh, I'm Kate not, Harvey Blender. Kate Blender. I'm not contributing anything to society myself, but if I can enable other people to contribute to society, that's almost as good. But I, I agree with you, Jacko. When I was in university, um, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos because you need that some kind of like a moment in your life that is not just pure stress. So I know how I know what you're going through and uh, stay strong. Hopefully it will pay out in the end. I know um, I was watching I never watched Ryan's like Dark Soul gameplay. I watched the PvP only. And it was, and I think it still is the best content on YouTube. I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, I have been uh, working my ass off mm. for about four years since that <laughs> moment uh, to try to make some worthwhile stuff. But uh, it's just, it's untouchable. It's just a god. At least it's my content that exactly. you think is up there, and you know. That's, if you that's guys something. have never checked out the OG Dark Soul PVP back in like when he was playing it on Xbox, Thank you should god. check him out. Those are, those are gold. It's real good. Where'd I put that? Yara room. Yara! I say Yara! Gotcha. Can I just see where my sub numbers are at? Yes. It's at 279. Mm. So we need 11 more people! And uh, made cafe. Need uh, do 21 more people, Kate. Oh, sorry. Obviously, sick Kate. <laughs> Why? Why do you laugh at me? Do you? Do you know? You don't understand, Ryan. Your half of your brain is in pain. It's just like, why do I have this pain and in, in my, my belly? It's just not feeling good. Man, I really can't believe we're not able to do uh, boss rush on this run. We're pretty strong. But this floor was just so freaking big. If Ryan was... I guess had a... Tiny physique. Then I wanted to dress him up as a maid outfit. But I don't think there's a size for him. It's like 30 shots in one sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously you're not- you don't have like a body type of Japanese girl. <laughs> I didn't mean that you're like fat or anything. No, then it's like, there's there's an element of that and then an element of like, I'm just gonna dress my husband up and whatever. Not then, whatever, <laughs> I thought it would be cute. Yes. Uh, Su Rai Mu, thank you for joining. Yeah. Can I really- get I really roll out? Thank you. Uh, I didn't mean it negatively. I didn't. I didn't really take it negatively. I was just. I was more shocked at the audacity <laughs> of, of the number of insults thrown accidentally in such a short sentence. I am sorry. It. Uh, I didn't mean it that way. Oh, I'm sick. I don't know what uh, I mean. I'm so sick. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't say that, Ryan. Why do you gotta be like that? I thought it would be cute if I just thought of Ryan dressing up as the maid outfit and I thought it would be cute. Yo girl, let's keep that idea in your head, but that's not a 300 sub goal idea. That's like, let me do that on my show. <laughs> we'll say if we get to like 5,000, then I'll dress up like a maid so people online can jerk off to me. Oh my god. they're gonna jerk off anyway, I might as well get paid for it. A little gross. Jack of Car, thank you very much for your subscription. Let's get to it. Rar. Monster Mouth asked. Oh no, Morsel Mouth asked. Is that a promise, NL? If we get to 5,000 subs, I'll yeah. dress up in a maid outfit. <laughs> yeah. I could probably be persuaded. Oh, it's God. it's quite a distance away, um, so I wouldn't get your hopes up anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> I 
It's alright. I wouldn't make Ryan do that. <laughs> and now that's too raw for Kate. <laughs> I get a lot of hurts. Oh god, evil geniuses. Four five four five. Thank you for joining. Get up, elite. Get up, you roll out. Thank you very much for your Thank subscription. You. I'm excited to buy some Japanese magic single stick. Yeah, man. Dazzle people at Friday Night Magic. Check it you out. You know what? Instead of being dazzled, I th I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, you know, that's like not tournament. <laughs> yeah, that's illegal. It's not tournament legal, you I'm gonna, know. I'm just gonna. I'm only gonna get islands and mountains. Yeah. I'm gonna get 12 islands, 12 mountains. You know, that's uh, not tournament legal, though. No, I'm sure it is. You've been getting a lot of that. Yeah, that's a great Black secret poop. room. It's one of my favorites. Nice. I mean, Bomber Boy Bob's Curse is okay. Oh, I, I think I drank enough. You're, you're ready enough to play? Tea. And Guppy. And guppy Baby, too. So, you already want the game because um, you have the Guppy right that's now. That's true. Buy all of the Japanese Black Lotuses. I think you know. It might be even more expensive. Yeah, sometimes like. Cause I don't, I don't know if if Japan had the alpha or beta phases, right? Well, the uh, the alphas are more expensive to begin with, so. Yeah, but I, I'm actually wondering if there is Japanese version of alpha or beta, or the like first edition. I can see because they actually released the game, but like I don't know if they would have alpha or beta in Japanese. Quack, quack, quack. Viper poison. Thank Thanks you for, for joining Kerami Elite. Kerami roll out with the Dota 2 emote of the Viper. I mean, Hi, it, sha, 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 sha. it might be more expensive. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to buy it. Exactly. I know uh, expeditions were only printed in English as well. Yeah. So, if someone tries to sell you a, a Japanese uh, flooded strand, then they're scamming you. That would be such a, like, stupid mistake. Why is the expedition in literally not in English? <laughs> they scam it. Yeah. yeah, it's like you you made like such a hard work for for like obvious fault. Worth it. Or fake, not fault. Obvious fake. That sounds like a great Twitch name. Obvious fake. Yeah. That's a horrible Twitch name. People are always going to be calling your integrity into question. <laughs> That's not a second secret room. Where am I? Oh, right. You know, I don't know why the baby does not spawn with the Isaac. That's the first mod I'm going to make for Afterbirth Plus. Baby spawns in the same position as Isaac. That's right. Let's go, my husband. My husband. I don't even understand this question, but I will read it. Do NL and Kate have a sweet booty game for stepping up to the Japanese toilets? What? Um, I'm actually, like, I've gone on a rant about Japanese toilets. I think that's one of the things Canada should take from Japan without even engaging in a vote. Japanese vending machines, Japanese Japanese toilets. That's it. 100% sign me up. Um, you mean be they, not like traditional? Well, no, I mean I mean the toilets that... Um, uh, that when you sit down on them, they play like the sound. The bidet is nice as well. Oh, you mean like public bathroom? No, I'm talking the private bathroom where you sit down and plays the sound, cover up your fart. And then it has a heated toilet seat. And yeah, that's that's. You, there's no um, private toilet toilet that has like a place music. Well, in the it, it could be done. In the, if in you the buy hotel rooms day. that we went to, they they played music when you sat down. It's a bidet. It's a part of a bidet. Well, the bidet part specifically is the is the water spray and jet. 
I'll take no, that. No, the whole thing is called bidet in Japan. Okay, dude, you gotta spend more time on Wikipedia, girl. You think I haven't looked up bidet on Wikipedia like ten times in my life? The, but that is one of the um, options that it can do on bidet. Bidet not just mean it's gonna spray water on your bum. It has different options. Heated seats. You know, play music if, if it wants. I, I forgot what it does. Maybe like self-cleaning. Wikipedia is too raw. I'm gonna fight you, Ryan. You, you don't want to look up a day on Wikipedia. That, that one actually is a little, a little out there. Why is that? Uh, I, I, I don't know that I've ever actually looked up a day on Wikipedia. This guy straight up lied to his wife. Uh, me. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Duck Souls. Yay. This is like 4 million yen, right? Have a good trip. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Raise your cape blender too. Duck Souls. That was kind of like our experience when we changed money at the bank. We're like, how much yen is this going to be? And then we're like, we might be off by a factor of 10. But let's just see what they give us. And it worked out. It was fine. Well, my, my question is, yes. if Bidet is just the water part of the machine, then what is the rest part of the machine called? That's actually a good point. You don't say, well, I'm going to install a bidet in my toilet. You just say, I'm going to change my toilet into a bidet. But most, like, I don't think bidets in Europe have, like, the, the like, noise function. I specifically want heated seats and noise. The bidet is a nice touch. I'd take the bidet as well. Because in, like, if you, you know, speak in Japanese or in Korean, you don't, like, when you say, like, oh, I bought bidet, you don't go like, oh, you just have a machine that's like the that sprays the water. You it, like when someone says that, say that it's a uh, known fact that they will have the optional functions. Mm. And then if you want to say like, I have the premium on, then the person would think like, oh, you have more than the basic function. But basic function in at least in Asia, it's the heated seat, place the noise and uh you know the water cleaning stuff so that's that's one thing i think i would love it if that culture made its way over and then um vending machine culture not everything has to be culture i guess but you get the idea i want 10 vending machines per block with cold coffee someone said it's called toilet yeah but in Japan or Korea, you don't say I bought a toilet. You say I bought today. Here's the thing. And I installed it. You called it a crow. Is a jackdaw a crow? Something something Reddit. I don't remember. What? Uh, don't don't sweat. It's the internet. Jacko said it's electric today. I guess there is like a. Gas European power. style of bidet that it needs to be specific so that people won't uh, get mixed signals or info. Where in Asia, or at least in Japan or Korea, they just like when you say bidet, that's that's the only thing that's available there, not a European style one. So. Yo, I don't think bidets waste that much water. Here's what I think. It does not. I think in North America, we're very sensitive about our butts. Ooh. And there's some fairness there. Don't interrupt me, <laughs> donation. It is Fen XL saying... Thanks for providing me with something to watch at work. Thank you, thank welcome. you very much, Razor Cape Blender. Yeah, exactly. In Western culture, we don't let anything near our butts unless it's a doctor or it's sexually or like, the, motivated. Um, what is it? TFA? TSA? Oh yeah, sometimes the TSA. <laughs> well, I gotta get on that flight to Cancun, so <laughs> you do what you gotta do. 
Um, so they're blasting you with a little bit of water, sure. But I think, like, in North America, we'll just come up with excuses. We'll be like, yeah, I mean, bidets might be better, but toilets work fine. Well, why don't we just go for the bidet, man? Take it to the next level. Yeah, see, people are now, they're trying to shame me. Why do you need sound to cover up your, your shits? Why wouldn't I want to have sound? The sound option you is better. You actually get an option. If you have an option to make a noise or not make a noise, and if you don't want to, then you don't have to. Yeah. But the, the good thing about that is that you actually get a, a certain type of an option and that then, you, uh, you would not have with a normal toilet here. Do you, know, do you know how much water it probably takes to make one sheet of toilet paper? Like, how much water is used in the process of turning pulp into paper? It's probably like, you know, a gallon per, uh, per square. I'm, I'm willing to submit to the facts. I'm okay with either toilet. However, I have a feeling bidets use less, less water, honestly. Yeah, but there is an argument saying, like, if you throw away the bidet, the waste of the bidet. You like throw the, away the bidet. The machine. I'm getting a permanent bidet. No, <laughs> attached to your butt. Mm. Implanted. Implant that on your butt. 